I'm getting ready to review my Shutterfly wedding book. The main reason I'm doing this is because I've been to two weddings. A couple of my friends have come over and they said that this wedding book is absolutely gorgeous and they couldn't believe I only paid $235 for it because both of them paid more for their wedding book than I did and they said mine is better. Um, I'm no expert, but I grew up scrapbooking and I just wanted to share um, what I did because I, I did do this wedding book myself through Shutterfly and um, I don't know, if you're thinking about doing uh, your own wedding book through Shutterfly, maybe I can give you some tips and tricks. So let's get into it. This is the front of the book. It is gorgeous. It is kind of like, I did get the flat back one, so they will open up super flat and you will see that in a second. I'm all doing this with one hand, sorry guys. Feel the electricity forever. You are able to put your own text. This is ours because um, I also have this engraved inside of Ian's ring um, and we'll get to that later <laughs> as to why. The back of the book, gorgeous, right? All right, let's get into it. So when I said they open up flat, this is what I mean. Let's do. They open up completely flat. Very, very high quality photo resolution here and vivid colors. Absolutely gorgeous. We also did get our invitations through Shutterfly. So, and also this decal, we were able to give to our photographer or actually our videographer. We got a photo booth and they were able to take this decal and put it on our photo booth photos. See, high quality. Bridesmaids. My lovely, lovely husband. Oh, hold on, let me turn this ring light down just a little. Maybe that's a little better. All right, I think that's a little better. Um, they have little stock uh, clip arts you can put in there, like the groom. You can add little banners. You can make the pictures big or small. Um, these are the groomsmen, and this photo actually came from someone's phone, and it still turned out beautiful. So the one good thing about the flat back or the flat top is that when you, if you do have a whole wide captured photo, you can put it on there. So, and it looks flawless. More photos, beautiful. Like the, the resolution, so nice. Let's see. You can also do black and white photos. Once again, some little clip art. You can also type in your own stuff. Marble background. So they do have a lot of stock backgrounds like this one. You can um, use their own stock backgrounds. Type your own text in. There's me and my dad. More little... Uh, I grew up scrapbooking, so I like little things like this. Love is sweet. Oh, look at the smile. Such a happy day, guys. Um, blew this up. I tried to, I wanted to make it kind of Vogue-esque, if that makes any sense. So I blew up the true love. There's our rings. You're even able to put, maybe you guys might want to do this, um, your love story. So when you first walk into our wedding, um, I did have an area for our love story. And so I also was able to put that in the book. True love. Such a happy day. So I will say I did make a mistake, guys. Can you see it? Can you find where the mistake is? Ah, it's right here. So what I'm going to do is go to Hobby Lobby or, you know, one of those craft stores. I'm going to get some stickers, maybe some gold stickers. And I'm just going to maybe try to make a banner across this. Ian was like, you got to send it back. I'm like, no, I'm not going to send it back. That's not that major to me because I can easily cover it up. And that's my fault. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Just cup a little bit, a couple more. He and his fam, or my family, family too. Um, so like I said, you can use their stock background photos. Like this is a glitter one. 
or you can use your own. So this is a background that I, it's actually a picture that I think my cousin took of the party. And then you can also use your own, um, your own backgrounds instead of their stock. So this is the party and then I used it for the party time. You get what I'm saying, guys. Oh yeah, like this. So this is our a picture of our cake and I use our own cake picture for our cake photos. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. I'm getting all tongue-tied here. Once again, you know, I like artistic. I tried to make it a little artistic and cool fonts. You can be kind of creative in that way. I will say I did blow this one up and it turned out a little bit, um, man, this ring light. Okay, maybe that's better. Turn it completely off. Turned out a little blurry, but overall, I still love it. With a big 21 over here because we got married on the 21st. Best day ever. More cute kissy photos. And um, like I said, this is our a picture of our table setup. And I just blew it up together forever. So the whole thing looks nice. Photos. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna turn this light back on. So this is the aesthetic page, which I super, super love. It almost looks kind of Pinterest-y. I feel like I should post this stuff on Pinterest. Our cake. I will say, don't forget to take a picture of your table, guys. I didn't have a single photo. Thankfully, Ian got this one. So it says, you know, Cecily, bride, Ian, groom. So this is really nice. So this is what I did with the photographer photos. And I just kind of scattered them all throughout and it looks really, really nice. I love the green and the dusty rose. It just came together so nicely. Yeah. Me and my dad, there's my hairstylist. There I am. So you can just scatter your photos around. Oh, so I also did get the um, these napkins from Shutterfly. Um, this was a big hit for those that paid attention. It seems like a lot of people didn't even see these. I put them by the bar, but the bar basically was giving out their own napkins, and I feel like I should have told them give these out instead, but I feel like, I, I don't know. So I still have a whole stack of these, and I'm just going to, when we have guests over, I'm just going to use those as our napkins. So like I said, we did get our invitation from Shutterfly and I was able to give it to my, uh, you know, epic weddings and they were able to put this for the photo booth. Now I will say if you're on edge about getting a photo booth or not getting one, I say it is worth the money. Just get the photo booth. And I'm going to tell you why we end up getting a roll or actually a, a link to all of our guest photos in the photo booth. And I was able to pick my favorite ones out and I was able to put it into this book and they still came out high top quality. You get to see everybody having such a good time. You know, you know girls having a good time. So favorite photos. <clears throat> Yeah, so it turns out beautiful. Best memories, favorite photos. <clears throat> so I would like to say, if you're already paying for this book, why not just throw some of your engagement photos in there? So this is our engagement photo shoot. We're supposed to have it at Emerald Bay, but it snowed just like it snowed the day of our wedding. So I didn't get any outside photos. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So we're going to go really big. We're going to Mexico for our um, anniversary. And uh, I'm just going to get some outside photos there. So South Lake Tahoe is where we went instead of Emerald Bay. But these turned out absolutely gorgeous. High quality still. I added these little shimmery things in there. I kind of like that. So maybe some tips and tricks. Just throwing some, you know, hearts. This is our hashtag, three years to infinity. Hold 
and hands. Once again, electricity forever. I just really love this photo. It's just, I don't know, just super love that one. The day we met, 5 May 21st, 2018. And so uh, added plus I put in here, this is um, one of our first text messages when we first started talking. And we just wanted our kids to know, like, we do believe that soulmates are real. Me and Ian are soulmates. Um, so I wrote, when soulmates connect. And basically Ian was like, it was like my body was electric. And it was like, I was like passing electricity back and forth to each other. So um, that's the end of it. And I just want to say, this book is gorgeous and if you are trying to figure out if you want to get a book from shutterfly i say do it i also want to say oh yeah there's that little it also came with um in that that book box it's really cute so this goes into that book box and also after i purchased this i did get a free six by six and i used it for our honeymoon so why not? So I got this and this for basically $235. Um, of course, this isn't as as nice as uh, <laughs> the wedding book, but you get you get the point. Still really nice, high quality photos. You still get to edit um, what you want to put and what you want to say. Yeah, look, high, like still beautiful. I'm not going to go through all of this, but basically this is what it looks like. I only got one hand, guys, struggling here. But yeah, so there it goes. And you also still get to put something on the side. This one's a little too dark. Whoops. Honeymooning in the Garden of Isles. So yeah, if you are thinking about getting a Shutterfly wedding book, I say do it. And if this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. I'm new to this, guys, so I really would appreciate your your um your support. All right, bye.